I've covered iOS 14 in a couple of videos now, but today I want to talk about my favorite 10 or so features that Apple did not discuss at WWDC, features that I think are awesome. Let's check them out, and this video is presented by iMazing, software you need to have to keep your iPhone data secure. Starting out with number one is something super interesting that I didn't even realize at first. So when you get into widget mode just by holding down on the home screen, you can obviously add a widget, but what you can also do is get an overview of all of your home screen pages. From there, you can select which pages you want and don't want. And this is where it gets very Android-esque, I think, for the best way possible. So you can choose which screens you want and you have to have one and you can have it all widgets or all apps or any combination of the two. Anything that gets removed from these pages will simply go over to your app library. So this is an amazing way to just have the apps you want on your home screen. And if you want to add them back, all you have to do is select them again. This is super cool, super practical, and it works really well. I think it's a super great way to only have the apps you want on the home screen and have everything else just a search or tap away. Second is new sound recognition. So you can find this under Control Center, and what this will do is in your accessibility settings is that your phone will alert you if it finds any of these sounds. So if you go into your settings, you can see this here and it'll give you a little bit of information about it. This is of course an accessibility setting, but like many others, it can be used in a lot of different contexts. So here's all the sounds that you can choose from. And essentially, if your phone hears these sounds, which for instance, a siren might be triggered by a whistle and different things like that. So I can see this in so many different circumstances being an awesome way to stay on top of things that you might otherwise miss. Third, so you know when you're sharing an image from photos and it gives you all those contact recommendations for your sharing? Well, now you have the ability to turn that feature off so it no longer gives you a list of people to share it to. So now if you go under Siri and search and you scroll down, you can turn off suggestions when sharing so that when you go into your share sheet, it will no longer give you a list of contacts that you might want to share it to, which will also just prevent those contacts from popping up in general and is a nice little privacy feature that you now have. Another new privacy feature is when you pay something in an application, it will give you an alert that that app has access to your clipboard. So if I'm in Twitter, I go to paste, you see that little notification up there that says that something has been pasted from your clipboard. And of course, this is going to be a great privacy measure to make sure you're always aware when something is accessing your clipboard, especially TikTok. Now, before we go any further, if you're downloading the developer beta or even the public beta later in the summer, you want to make sure that you back up your device first so that you can always restore it later without losing files. And the easiest, safest, and best way to do that locally is with iMazing a completely free program for your Mac that not only gives you very thorough and secure backups on your iOS device, but also diagnoses battery health, transfers files from a Mac or PC to your iPhone with drag and drop, you can export voicemails, print iMessages, transfer entire photo libraries in a breeze, and, and so much more. It's worth the free download, no strings attached. But if you want some of the more premium features, you can actually use the code IDB30OFF or click the link in the description for 30% off the full price of the software. It's a great program that can do a whole lot for making sure your iPhone data is safe and secure and easily transferable to and from your computer. So again, check out the link in the description for iMazing and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this episode on the channel. Next, in photos, there's now the ability to add a caption to a photo. So just like that, you see I added a caption that says wallpaper from IDB and now that will be a part of the photos metadata and the caption exists underneath it. Now when you're listening to music and you're in the default playing mode, it takes up the full gradient background image of the album cover. So this used to be only in this lyrics view that it would make the background color of this a full screen blurred version of the album, but now it does it automatically for the normal view on both iPhone and iPad. Now in news, there's a proper dark mode for certain articles and publications. So you see in here, on the right is iOS 14, which now does dark mode. On the left is iOS 13, which dark mode would still have this background being white. So that's a nice change there. Another great privacy feature is under photos. Here you have the ability to select in different applications such as Instagram and Snapchat or even DJI Fly which photos can be viewed from that app, whether it's your whole catalog of photos or just selected 
pictures and images. So for instance, I can go into Snapchat and choose certain pictures which Snapchat can view, but it can't view my other ones and it can't do anything with that. Next, there is a great emoji search, just like on the Mac, for the iPhone. So you can search whatever you need to into emojis and find it much quicker and more efficiently. And there's even a little emoji search button in the bottom right, so that is certainly great. Next is a cool control center view for your home app. So you already have this standard full screen home control in control center, but now it also gives you quick access to some of your favorites. So for instance, I have my desk light here, right in control center, I can make that adjustment. So not only is it just your favorite home, but also your favorite home accessories are present in control center. And of course, weather is just better because Apple bought Dark Sky. So in locations that it's going to rain, you will get the hour of rain forecast, including when the rain's supposed to stop. There's also a new air quality icon. So that's about it for this video. Let me know your favorite hidden features, and if I missed any, leave those down below, and make sure to check out iMazing.